Hello, so in this lab, I will show you how to do a multi stage build using Docker file. Right, so what I've done is I've created a simple application, right, a folder known as patient, and this application is written in Go language and it says hello world whenever you run it. Simple application says hello world, nothing more than now. Uh, I want to run this application inside the Docker file, and this is what the Docker file looks like. So I am pulling in Go language image, right? Then setting a working directory as hello uh, world. Then inside that, I'm popping the program and building the application. And then I'm in the application. Now, for building the application, I might require a number of libraries. It is a simple application, but it might not require all the libraries, but it might require a number of libraries. There is a reason why we have taken a full language base image as all the required dependencies. Okay. So using this image, we would be building the application inside the container itself and then we would be running the application. So let's do that. Let's do a docker build hyphen t and name this image as inefficient. Now reason for calling as inefficient, I'll talk about it later. Build it And the image is ready. Docker images. This is the image. Let's run this image. So I'll say Docker run and the image name. Displayed an hello world application. Uh, application from the hello world it printed hello world from the application. Right and exited. Now let me move to a different folder and the content of this folder is similar we i still have the same hello world application but i have done some changes inside the docker here what i'm doing is i'm doing two from state this part of the docker file will build my hello world application and i'm name this part of the docker file as a compiler this will compile and build my application and then what i'm doing is Whatever is getting built, I would be copying that inside a normal Alpine image. Now, for building, I require all the libraries, but once the application is built and packaged, I need not require everything. It will just require it uh, to run the application. So, copying an Alpine image and getting an Alpine image inside that, I'm copying whatever is built over here, compiler, the working directory of the working directory or to a folder to a, to a directory known as hello. Then I'm running this. Two uh, from statements here. Yeah. One for building the image, and second one is for running. One for building the application. One is for running the app. Now let's see what happens when we. Run. So I'll say Docker build hyphen t. Call it as efficient. Dot. Will happen. And now if I run the Docker images command, I would be able to see a new image known as efficient. And if I do a Docker run and I run this image known as efficient, it will still shame, still display the same hello world as out. Difference is the first image, the image is 784 MB, and the second image is only 7 MB. Reason for this is first image has all the libraries which is not even required to run my application right it's a base go language image all the libraries then second image it uses the go language image as a build layer once the build is completed copying the build artifact right a lightweight alpine image and there i'm running so this image is essentially just an alpine image with my okay. this is what multi-stage build is so you can have uh, multiple from statements one from statement can be used for building the application, other one can be used for 
running the application and using it as a your image for running your container. This is it for this lab. Thank you for watching.